Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Science That Sticks. Roll the graphic. This evening, it is August the 11th, I'm in the UK, and this is my Virtuoso telescope. And it has in it a small moon filter, which if we look through the eyepiece here, you'll be able to see the moon. There you go. And because the moon is as bright as it is, we can put a filter on it so that it just dims the brightness of the moon so you can get more detail. I'll attach this device to my phone and then this will then be attached to here and we'll be able to see the moon in more detail. So let's see what we can do. The full moon that is the, aut the August full moon the darker grey bits are where we landed on the moon. And when I say we, I don't mean you and I, I mean humans, courtesy of NASA. Uh, over in the top left-hand corner there, which I'll zoom in now. Oh dear goodness. Where are we coming? No, 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 no. It's difficult being able to do this and then try and zoom in. So that little area there, we can just about see that's Plato's crater, as I understand it. And previously, let's get this up in the sky again. Come on. No, not that way. It's tricky doing this. So in these areas here, that's where we uh, landed on the moon. Uh, I'm not sure which ones we landed in. But I know that we landed there because they are pretty flat. The rest of the moon is covered in craters. The wobble is due to two things. The first of which is I'm holding my camera against the telescope because it's getting a clearer view with that than if I just left it, which would be like that. And secondly, you can actually, uh, now we're a little clearer of the plants next door but one, we can actually see more of the moon. So this is it. If you get the chance and opportunity tonight to see the moon, do so. It's beautiful and it hangs there in total silence. I'm going to leave that with you all. Till next time, ladies and gentlemen. Stay cool. Bye bye.